Hello. Welcome to Shepherdless Pie. Stephen, there was no shepherds harmed in the making of this dish. Yes! Yeah, so super tasty dinner, serves six to eight people. Really tasty dish, comforting, like a warm belly hug. Anyway, let's, let's get, get it on. First step, we're gonna get our spuds ready. We're just gonna chop them up nice and small, kind of similar size to the old boil at the same rate. And we'll get them on the pot and get them boiling first straight away. I've got two red onions and I'm dicing them up nice and fine. I've got four cloves of garlic. Okay, so now we're gonna add in two tablespoons of oil into our hot frying pan. We're using rapeseed oil, because- Frying um, pan or sauce pan? Ah, sure. Tea Whatever, pot. Tea into pot. your thing, <laughs> into your cooking it. Go on. Okay, we've got our onions and garlic. In you go, Woohoo! hoo the sizzle. So I'm gonna cut that down for about three to five minutes, and I'm cooking it at a high heat, because I love when the garlic kind of chars a little, adds that real nice, just oh, extra level of flavor. Okay, so while Steve's doing that, I'm gonna prep our veg. We've got three quarters of a carrot, I've got half a parsnip and I'm just slicing them up nice and fine. We've got one nice, see this beautiful long red pepper. These are sweet Romero peppers and I'm gonna use a full sweet red pepper, chop them up nice and fine into bite sliced pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna add our carrot and parsnip now and our pepper and I'm gonna add a teaspoon and a half of salt just to kind of bring it all together and help the flavors amalgamate. So I'm just gonna stir them through and cook them for about another three or four minutes. So you can use any veg really, whatever's in the bottom of the fridge. You know, I've gone for carrots, parsnips, and red pepper, because I like the colors, and it'll all kind of jump through the nice lentily, non-shepherd bit. Okay, so now that that's all, they're all kind of cooked in, they're nicely kind of starting to break down, we're gonna add our chopped tomatoes. So we've got two tins. So we're just gonna drain and rinse our lentils now. Just make sure and give them a really good rinse. Just make sure and give them a really good rinse because you want to wash all that kind of suds. The suds are usually what kind of gives it that kind of, you know when people say that like uh, beans and lentils make you fart, just keep washing them suds and they won't make you fart as much. So we're just going to add the lentils now. Without all the bubbles, they're going to be the real meat of the dish, giving the substance and the deliciousness. Meaty. Okay, so now we've got a few other little bits to add. I've got two bay leaves, just going to add them in. So we've, got, so we've got a bit of smoked paprika. Smoked paprika is fab. It's gonna give that real kind of oaky, oxtaily taste. I'm gonna add one teaspoon. I've got two teaspoons of paprika. This is just a regular sweet paprika. And I got half a teaspoon of black pepper. And she goes, we've got four tablespoons of tamari. Or soya sauce, use whatever you want. Tamari is just a wheat-free soy sauce. So we'll just stir that right through. We're gonna bring it to the boil and then let it reduce for about 15 minutes, just while our spuds are on. So now that the dish is nearly all together, I'm gonna to chop a bit of parsley just to put through it. So there we are, this has been cooking for 15, 20 minutes and really the flavors are starting to come out. Like, like off the rich are good. Banging and don't be afraid to really season this because there's potatoes going on the top that are gonna really mellow it out. Now we're gonna go mash our potatoes, come on, on over. Got 100 ml of almond milk. So use any kind of milk, soy milk, rice milk, oat milk, cow's milk, whatever you're into. So we're gonna add in half a teaspoon of salt and a pinch of black pepper. Okay, so now it's mashing time. You need one massive, manly potato masher. Okay, so, so now it's time just to tray her up. We're ready to rock and roll. So we've got one nice pie dish, just a regular, any dish you'd make some kind of a pie in. Oh, it looks great, beautiful color there. It looks great against the white, doesn't it? Beauty. So here we go, let's get our spuds and just pop them over the top. Let's get our spuds on. So spread your potatoes out as evenly as you can. And with a waxy potato, you might have to be a little bit more delicate like the way we were there. And then it can look a bit messy, but then it's time to bring out the magic fork. An and here we go. incredible potato tool. And here we go, just, oh, look at this. Wow, Steve, you're a genius. Thanks, Mr. Flynn. Okay, so now she's ready for the oven. How I'm long missing. are you gonna bake her for, Mr. Flynn? 20 minutes, 180 degrees. Here we go, season a sec. You're not going down the stairs! Is it ready yet? She's ready, lads! Woo! Oh, look at this! Straight out of the kitchen. So it looks great. You see the way the red's kind of puffed up around the sides, just as the sauce has come up and it's all gone beautiful. Uh, you ready to give her a sample? Here we go. Super tasty, really genuinely tastes like a belly hug, if you know what I mean. Um, there it is, epic shepherdless pie. 
cheap to make, quick enough to make, great for student dinners, easy dinners, family dinners. Enough waffle, thumbs up. Give us up. an L, subscribe if you like it, and give us a thumbs up, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.